This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research to look at world-class benchmarking for Bloomberry Resorts in the Philippines. First, a little background on the company. Bloomberry Resorts is a holding company that provides lodging and commercial properties through Surest Financial Services through Bloom Capital and tourist facilities with casinos, hotels, and amusement-themed projects through Bloomberry Resorts and Hotels. Soler, Korea, and Golden and a Luxury. The company's ticker code is Bloom, as in a flower blooming. <laughs> market capitalization is about 1.4 billion US dollars with market uh, with average daily turnover about 2 million. The beta of this stock is quite high at 2.2. Remember, some of the academic research I've done on beta shows that high betas tend to revert, not to the mean, but to a lower level within a year. The company's listed in the consumer discretionary sector, and the industry is consumer services. And the company is owned 69% by Enrique Razon Jr. If we look at what's going on over at the company, we can see Bloom focuses on managing and operating high-end hotel casino businesses in the Philippines and Korea. Enrique Razon Jr. is the chief executive officer and holds 69% in direct and indirect ownership. In the Philippines, the group currently holds 25% market share in the casino market. It develops and operates complexes with casinos, hotels, prop, retail, and amusement areas through Surest Properties and Bloomberry Resorts and Hotels. Uh, Solaire Resorts and Casinos is the first Philippine premium luxury hotel and gaming resort in Entertainment City. BRHI, as the license holder, operates the casino while Surest operates the hotel and other non-gaming businesses. In Korea, the company owns Golden and Luxury Company Limited through Soler Korea, a hotel and casino operator of Jeju Sun and Jeju Island. Now, at the end of 26, June 2016, Bloom announced that it had agreed to sell the Jeju Sun to Lao Kun Group, uh, However, the deal has yet to be finalized, so we'll keep our eye open for that. The revenue structure of the company is 93% gaming, hotel, food and beverage is about 6%, and we can see that 99% of revenue comes from the Philippines. Now, let's take a look at the company's world-class benchmarking. Now, in this case, what we can see is that the chairman and CEO are the same person, and it's Enrique Razon Jr., and he's been running the business since 2011. If we look at the world-class benchmarking performance, well, it is pretty terrible. We had one year where the company was at a one, but the rest of the time the company has been ranked number 10. What does that mean? Profitable growth is the worst in the world. This is ranked among the worst 138 medium-sized consumer discretionary companies worldwide. That means I'm benchmarking against 1,380 companies. Now, if we look at this company's profitability and growth, we can see profitability has improved to number nine, which is good. And growth remains at number 10, which is worst. If we look at what's going on at the profitability level, we can see asset utilization has improved slightly to nine, but profit margin remains at a 10. Now on the growth side, sales growth is the shining light. It has gone from a one in 2014 down to a five, which is average in 2015, and then recently up to a four. So improvement in sales growth is good. Unfortunately, what we can see is that the margin change is ranked at number 10, so continuing to fall, despite the fact that the margin, profit margin itself is already ranked at number 10. So this company is struggling. Do you want to see the profitable growth rank for a company in your portfolio? Well, leave a comment below with company name and country listing and I'll post it if I have it.